What is up guys, Jav here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in our video today we're taking a look at the Spare Rations Hand Cannon and specifically the easiest and fastest way to farm it. So if you're chasing this weapon down then this is the video for you. Now if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a rating down below that super helps me out here on the channel and if you're new around here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content then be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay guys, let's jump into the video. So first things first, what is the Spare Rations? This is a legendary hand cannon that originated back in the season of the Drifter. It's a lightweight frame, 150 RPM hand cannon. As you can see on my one, I have armor piercing rounds, where rounds cause extra damage to combatants, shields, and over penetrate targets. I also have rapid hit, where rapid precision hits greatly increase the reload speed, as well as multi kill clip, where reloading grants increased damage based on the number of rapid kills made beforehand. And as you can see as well, I have a range masterwork on this one. So what we're looking for here is a role similar to this, except maybe with Rampage or even just normal kill clip. But this is a very good role, and as you can see, I've got nearly 7,500 kills with this weapon. So it's definitely worth chasing down, guys. Now in terms of loadout, I'm running a Warlock on this occasion. I'm running Middle Tree, and I'm using the Well of Radiance with my Luma Faction boots. Weapons wise, I'm going to run the spare rations naturally, but it is solar this week, so I'm going to pair that with Last Man Standing, which is also available from the Reckoning. And I've got One Two Punch and Grave Robber on this roll. And finally, in our power weapon slot, I'm going to be running Xenophage. This received a buff very recently and is very strong and very effective with the Solar Burn active. So, a few other pointers for some other classes. For a hunter, anything with Tether is exceptionally strong, especially with Orpheus Rigs, as that helps Tether the adds, but also create orbs for other members of your fire team and for titans middle tree sunbreaker is very good because the burning more super helps to keep oryx in the same place which allows you to take him out much quicker and more effectively than normal now to farm this weapon out you need to jump into the reckoning you'll find this under gambit on the director now this week's burn is solar which greatly increases damage from all solar sources now a couple of pointers with the reckoning itself it is a match made activity so it's absolutely possible to farm this solo as well as part of a fire team naturally though if you are part of a pre-made fire team you will be able to run through this a lot quicker than if you were solo now because a lot of the enemies in here are also taken things like taken armaments and taken barrier are very good as these will help offer additional protection but also easily help you regain your power ammo Another thing to bear in mind guys with the Reckoning is that the bosses do determine the loot pool which is available at the end. Tier 2 is most definitely the way to go as that's the fastest way to run through these Reckoning activities. And Tier 3, whilst they do increase the drop rates for weapons, they do also increase the loot pool size. So for this week, for example, if we ran Tier 3, we could also get the Gnawing Hunger Auto Rifle as well as the Doomsday Grenade Launcher. So we would have a 1 in 5 chance, depending on which weapon drop, to get a spare rations. But if we ran tier 2, which is not only faster, we only have a potential of 3 weapons that can drop. This being the spare rations itself, the bug out bag submachine gun and the outlast pulse rifle, which are all very good weapons as well. Now as for hints and tips, popping a well of radiance at every opportunity on the bridge will help offer protection to you and your fire team, as well as increase their damage where possible. Tethers are also exceptionally strong, as these will also keep the Shadow Thrall at bay, but also generate orbs for the rest of your fire team. Also remember to equip mods like Taken Armaments and Taken Barrier to make sure you're maximizing your power ammo drops, as well as offering yourself extra protection where possible. Now as for the boss itself, if you are able to pop another Well of Radiance and the Burning Morph Super is available, this will help pin Oryx to one location, which means if you have multiple Xenophages within your fire team, you'll be able to do immense damage in a short space of time. Now as with most of the farms we cover on this channel, the drop rate and the rolls themselves are entirely down to RNG, so the way to improve your opportunities on getting this weapon is really down to speed, patience and dedication. So there we have it guys, that is where and how you can farm these spare rations at Legendary Hand Cannon. I hope you have found the information and hints and tips in this video useful. If you have, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel and we're super close to 15k and I appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you're new to the channel and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then you're in the right place and be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always guys, but I will catch you all again very soon.